सो हेलो गाइज हियर वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 फ्रॉम चेक योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर रोटेशन फ्रॉम पाथ फाइंडर सो लेट स्टार्ट अ यूनिफॉर्मली फिल्ड कंटेनर ऑफ हाइट एच एंड लेंथ एल इज प्लेस्ड ऑन अ हॉरिजॉन्टल प्लैंक दैट कैन स्लाइड ऑन हॉरिजॉन्टल फ्लोर अलॉन्ग वन ऑफ द बॉटम एज ऑफ द कंटेनर अ स्मॉल ट्राइंगुलर वेज लाइक सपोर्ट इज वेल्डेड एंड एट द अदर बॉटम एज एक्सट्रीमली लाइट एंड स्मॉल रिजिड व्हील्स आर फिटेड एज शोन इन द फिगर देर इज नो फ्रिक्शन एट द एक्सेल्स ऑफ द व्हील If the plank is made to move towards the right with the acceleration a not the container begins to slide find retardation with which the plank moving towards the right can be stopped preventing the container from sliding and toppling respectively uh here in this question i feel that uh, there is uh, it can be worded better here if the plank is made to move towards right with an acceleration a not the container begins to just slide i feel here because it is the critical value uh, at just a not it begins to slide so it's the lowest acceleration at which it begins to slide so if you want to try this yourself please do it now so if you want the hint here you go there will be no force or negligible force to be precise on the wheels in horizontal direction so if you want to try it again please do it now so yeah now let's uh, see how to solve this problem so first of all i'll talk about this hint which i gave there will be no force or negligible force to be precise on the wheels in the horizontal direction so here we are given is that we have been given extremely small and rigid wheels which means the mass of the wheels is very small so let's say some friction is acting on the wheels let in any direction so it will cause uh, let's say it has a moment of inertia i so it will cause an act, uh, angular acceleration of alpha by torque equals to i alpha so as the mass of the wheels are very less this value inertia tends to zero so uh, the angular acceleration should tend to infinity if the value of friction or if the value of the torque is some finite value so this implies uh, this tells us that this is not possible so from here what we get is that the force on the wheels in horizontal direction should be negligible there sh- there can be force in the y direction of course but uh, there is no uh, force in the x direction on the wheels so yeah so now let's consider the first case when it was accelerating so here let's assume that the uh, there are two normal forces acting n1 on the wheel and n2 at the wedge so for the first equation we can clearly get is n1 plus n2 equals to mg by the force balance in y direction and uh, now we can uh, by torque balance about let's say about this point about the wheel so from here what we get is the torque due to n2 which is n2 times l n2 times l plus torque is equals to torque due to weight which is mg into l by 2 this this distance should be l by 2 and uh, i have uh, assumed here with respect to i am considering in the accelerated frame of the plank so from here the torque of the pseudo force will be ma not times h by 2 so this is the second equation and the third equation we get is that it is just slipping at this moment so at this moment the friction should just equal to the value of the horizontal force on the block so from here what we get what we get is ma not equals to friction which is which should be mu times n2 so from here we actually didn't need the first equation here but i still wrote it so from here from second and third equation what we get is ma not equals to m ma not equals to mg by 2 minus ma not h over 2l times mu so from here the, we get the value of mu to be 2a not l over gl minus a not h so now let's consider the case when it was decelerating so from here the acceleration of the sh- uh, sorry the direction of the pseudo force here will be opposite because this time it is decelerating and let's say it was decelerating with an acceleration a and let's assume again the same normal reactions at the n1 at wheel and n2 at the uh, triangular wedge and this time the friction will be in opposite direction uh, for the same reason so from here again we get is n1 plus n2 equals to mg and again we write the torque about the wheel from here what we get is n2 times l equals to mgl by 2 plus mah by 2 and this is valid only if it doesn't topple so if it uh, if the acceleration required for toppling is less than that of sliding then this uh, this equation won't hold so let's see if if it uh, has has no, if it cannot slide so, so now from for no slip condition what we get is that the friction value value of friction should be greater than ma so from here the maximum value of friction which is mu n2 should be greater than na ma so substituting the value of mu here and n2 from this equation 
what we get is and on solving what we finally get we get the final uh, result which we needed to find that a should be less than a not gl over gl minus 2 a not h so the, uh, if the acceleration is less than this value the block won't slide on the plank and now if we consider the case for not toppling so from here what we get is that the torque due to uh, ma and mg should be less than or equal to, to the torque due to the normal force at this end so from here what we get is ma into h by 2 plus mgl by 2 should be less than n2l and n2 can be written as mg minus n1 from the first equation we wrote n1 plus n2 equals to mg so and this value should always be less than mg and as n1 cannot be negative so from here what we get is ma h by 2 minus m is less than mgl over 2 so from here we get the result we needed to uh, show that a is less than gl over h so yeah, this is the condition for no slipping and this is the condition for no toppling that's the final answer thank you